Hey guys, um, I'm making this video to really, uh, I would say, kind of Mythbuster style into explaining what can or cannot be beneficial to preventing the yellow light of death. I see far too many videos that make broken promises and say that, oh, you, you can uh, stop worrying about the yellow light of death just by doing these steps. I have to explain that it's more complicated than people seem to understand a lot of people out there and I hate to say it but the majority of people out there who are making these videos do not have any tech backgrounds they're just gamers who are upset that their systems are failing and that they are just coming up with you know kind of common sense ways of solving a problem but they don't understand the underlying issue um, now common sense would tell you yes the colder the air or the more airflow you have going through your PlayStation 3, the cooler it is. Therefore, you have people who buy what are known as intercoolers. The problem is intercoolers don't do anything to prevent the OLI death. Yes, they do pass more air through the heatsink. However, it's not the airflow that is causing yellow light of death. A lot of people think this is what the problem is. Therefore, when you go on PlayStation 3 forums, you go on... Um, yellow light of death fix dot net or whatever website out there they all try to say that you're not keeping your system clean therefore your system is dying due to your own fault what people tend to forget is that I made a video back then and a lot of people gave me hate over it because I went chose to rant on about stupid shit uh, I believe it was somebody wrote a weird improper message but what I tried to explain in that video was you can have perfect airflow going through that heat sink at all times it's not going to solve the problem the problem lies through many little issues for one by default the pace that they used was very very poor and I can say this for a fact because I open Sony Vio laptops I just opened up one today that the paste was bone dry and my uh, one of my friends was complaining that the fan was on all the time saying that you know just simple web browsing the fans on he can hear it it annoys him the laptops only four months old was complaining he has a core i7 quad core uh, last gen not sandy bridge and has a uh, um, the same graphics card as my MacBook Pro Sony even released a software BIOS update a firmware update of some sort trying to patch a problem because they were saying that these particular laptops were getting very hot. I took apart this particular laptop because even though I even dusted the thing out, you know, so it has perfect airflow, I even put one of those like laptop coolers underneath it to prove my point, the fan did not slow down. It would just get progressively louder, you know, based on the demand. So I take the machine apart and I see that the paste was completely dry and you could tell that there's air pockets in there that it wasn't making a perfect seal wiped it all off with some alcohol you don't need to buy any of those um, products those like uh, uh, thermal paste removal shit no just go to a dollar store buy 50 percent isopropyl alcohol put it on a q-tip and wipe it down that's the best you can do that's what I do um, so I repaste it put some arctic silver 5 on it you know put the right amount I do the dot method so I probably will make a future video showing the real actual way of doing it I realized about a year after making that video um, where I was like uh, spreading it that a lot of those particular repairs were failing that it would get back to that point where the fan was on all the time and when I dissected them I noticed the paste was still liquid but there were air pockets so for now on, always put a dot method. It's the best way it works. I do some other things where you put the dot in and you want to put like the, the heat sink on. You want to shake it a little bit um, while you're screwing it down. That tends to really put a nice tight seal on it. And I've never had any of those come back to me. I've never had them fail. Um, so the dot method does work. So I pasted his laptop with the dot method instantly you can not hear the fan. The fan's running, it's running at slowest speed. Uh, a lot of laptop manufacturers do this now. They have it where the fan is running at all times. My MacBook Pro, same thing, um, they all do it. Um, but you cannot hear, but if you put your hand next to the vent, it's blowing out very, very hot air, which it wasn't doing before, which is why the fan was running even uh, faster because typically the problem used to be that it would get clogged 
and then the fan would go faster trying to force more air through to cool it down quicker. But it can't do this if the paste is shot. If the paste isn't what it's supposed to be, if the paste isn't doing its job, the heat sink isn't absorbing heat. Therefore, you can have the fan blowing out like a fucking leaf blower, and it's not going to cool down your machine. So this is why intercoolers don't work, because they don't solve the underlying issue. The underlying issue always has been and always will be thermal paste. Even the brand new slims are susceptible to the same problem. I've seen them fail. I've had one person bring me a PlayStation 3 Slim that yellow lighted. I took it apart, found that the paste was shot, it had air bubbles. The problem is, is that the companies are going very cheap on paste. Now paste isn't the only problem. Other issues were the earlier PlayStation 3s the uh, cooling system wasn't, the aerodynamics of it, or however you want to explain it, wasn't correct. There are two heat sinks inside the 60 gig PlayStation 3. If you are standing the PlayStation 3 vertically, whatever air that's blowing out of the top is the graphics card's heat sink. Whatever's blowing out of the back is the cell processor's heat sink. Where are the majority of the cracks? The majority of the cracks um, on the solder are actually under the GPU. Now the GPU's heatsink is smaller than the cell processor's heatsink. There's another problem. The heatsink design wasn't necessarily the best. And when you tack on thermal paste that dries out within a year, you tack on the fact that the heatsink isn't able to, um, is absorbing as much heat as possible, but it's not able to dissipate it faster. So it's very inefficient. Um, it's just not enough. Um, for the earliest designed PlayStation 3s, you're looking for trouble. So you can have your PlayStation 3 in an air-conditioned room, it's not going to do anything. You can have your PlayStation 3 in an air-purified room, even a hospital. You can have it wherever you want, you can have it in perfect conditions. It's not going to prevent the Oli death, because there are other problems. The best thing you guys can do is repaste it yourself. You want to do it right, you want to put a decent amount on there, you don't want to um, let it kill itself. But don't, the thermal paste also doesn't just fix the OLED death. I've had so many people write to me and saying, oh, I put some thermal paste on and I still have the OLED death. You still have to fix the solder joint cracks. Thermal paste isn't going to magically fix it. You have to professionally get it done. I would highly suggest you get it reballed. Reballing is actually removing the chip off the board, removing all the solder that they used, and putting new solder balls. In a lot of places um, they use lead solder because it's just much more sturdier. Um, so they re-solder it to the uh, board and then you just put new paste. That's the proper way of fixing it, but a lot of people don't say that. They're like, oh, just get a heat gun and just you know pass it over. That's not going to fix it uh, permanently. That may do a patch job, but it's going to break again, even if you put thermal paste, the good stuff, uh, Arctic Silver, whatever. So I wanted to clear these things up. Don't think that the, the, you know, the more fans you have blowing on your PS3, the better it's going to be. That's not the case. That's not going to fix it. So take care, guys. Look out for future content. Uh, maybe a Sony rant will come soon, but uh, just take care, guys. Bye.